So our host from the B&B pointed out a few special places that we can visit and not to be missed. And this Citadel's. We're on the road again, going to see something beautiful. I don't remember that this is how we entered the fort uh, but let me take you through the tunnel for some reason the visit to the citadel had kind of slipped our mind and we had been here with our absolutely lovely friends Dan and Anita who we visited in France while they were on holiday with their wee boat I did make a video of that when we went to Givet and visit them. Anyway, let's get back to current visit. I really can't remember. I really can't remember that we actually entered this way. I'm sure we must have walked, but if we did walk, it looks awfully unfamiliar. So, so gotta watch your wing mirror. And there's a whole school group <laughs> on my heels. Oh dear. So this is where the car thing goes through. It's a steep climb. The visitor centre. Might just have to pop in there, won't I? And the church. Massive and beautiful. Wow. We're just so amazed. This is a surprise. A real surprise. There were barely any photos made the first time we visited because the Citadel was still in a development stage. There have been so many more people involved now. So um, that's probably why I didn't remember it because it really did not look as good as what it does now.
just look at these buildings outside. Now, they've been um, stuttered and, and they look like they've been well protected. And even the square has had a tidy up. And these houses, they're now being lived in. They've been beautifully renovated and lovely and colourfully painted. So, um, yes, it's lovely to see so much livelihood here. Mooi zo. Something to do. We even had something to eat. And now we're going to wander around the streets. Yeah. Citadel de Montmédy. Montmédy. Oh gosh. I think I'll go and stand underneath it. <laughs> In that fountain, it is so warm. Oh, just looking at the water is cooling actually. Now it's very much an uh, artist colony, whereas it used to be a defence position. So, Oh, just love it. And it's so cool that there are people who think it's worthwhile to renovate this area, these old houses. Here we go, here's one. Anybody want a, uh, want to start a and b Oh, look at that. I hope I can piece it together and make it something worthwhile. I know. I actually did look up a lot of the history before we came here, but and then that's when we started to think we'd been here before. Rue Arsenal. Oh yes, I remember this. Now there's all these. Um, now they're just over there in the distance. I think there used to be a sort of garrison, or maybe where the horses were kept, or artillery things or whatever and now they've been converted to sort of like studios and stuff Ooh, that's a bit flash I think if you want to get away with it from it all and you've got the money honey this is an ideal place to do it see this is what I mean There's the, all sorts of galleries. I think I might just have to go and have a look. There we go. Some girls will bring you silver. Some will bring you silver. Hello. Oh, beautiful. Oh, bon appetit. Not everyone is here every day, except for those, I think. If this is the uh, full time thing. Oh, wow. Oh, gorgeous. Oh. Mm. The oh yes, oh, there it yeah. is, yes. Oh, oh wow. Very talented. Beautiful. Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> oh look at this. Oh. Just fabulous. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow. How long? Very nice. 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 Very 
<laughs> you are Don Quixote. <laughs> J'adore Don Quixote. <laughs> yeah. Don Quixote. Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, very, very, very good. On est là, on est là déjà. Ah oh, oui, Igor Togouzet, oui. <laughs> English defies a citadel as a strong castle in or near a city where people can shelter from danger, especially during war. The term derives from the um, same Latin root as the word city or civis, meaning citizen. So um, now you know what a citadel is, and this was certainly a beautiful one. We're now on our way back to our B&B. We've got some packing to do and um, it is time to move on for some new adventures. So off home we go and time for dinner. Now we're on our way to Turkheim and um, it's got to be really hot. They're predicting 28 to 30 degrees, but oh, driving through this countryside, it's not really awful. I have rolled up my sleeves, as you can see, and um, in the car, I've actually got my sun hat on and to the side to keep the sun off my neck because it really is annoying. And um, well, we've got all day and we'll take all day. We've farewelled Philippe and the gorgeous wee well, cottage that we uh, used the past week. And believe it or not, there's traffic on this tiny road. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> right, I'll get back in the car and um, I might show you some more countryside. Who knows?